Hey guys, on today's video, I'm taking a look at exclusive packs right here for PS5 or PS4. Same thing, really. So, right now, we are in this section, PlayStation Plus. Scroll down just once, then move to the right. So up here, you're going to see latest, benefits. That's where you want. The second option, benefits. Scroll down, keep scrolling, you're going to see exclusive packs. From here, all you need to do is scroll down one more time. Go all the way to the right, you're going to see view all. So click on view all, you guys can see everything that you can download right now. These are exclusive packs just for you. It does include this Fortnite one, plus a bunch of others. Now, if you guys have been here before, maybe you didn't just find it right away, you might notice some of them might say purchased, such as this one. That means you downloaded that before, so don't worry about it, you already have it. Now, in order for this to work, make sure the game that you're downloading the pack for, or any add-ons that you're adding for your game, don't have that game turned on. So make sure it's fully closed for this to work or else it's gonna glitch and then you have to just restart your console and then there you go. So you don't have to do those things, just make sure it's fully closed, then go on and download these things. So we're gonna start off with this right here for Fortnite. It should say $0, click on it, confirm your purchase, which is again, $0, it should be free. And that's it, just go back. Once you log into Fortnite, you should be able to see the screen popping up. Again, Fortnite has to be fully closed for that to work. Same goes with any other game. So we're gonna take a look at this one as well. We're gonna add it to our library and we can download it right now or we can download it later. Let's go into the next one. Same thing, we can just add this. There we go, we just purchased it. Go back and then we're gonna do the same thing with every single one. Obviously only download the ones that make sense to you. Not everybody has all these games, not everybody cares about these. So you can just go on and take a look at the packs that mean something to you. If they're not, then just skip over and just download the ones that you want. I personally think that you should download as many as possible because some of them don't even take up any space. And if you happen to play that game later on, you're gonna have these things for them. So sometimes you don't play a particular game, but later on you do get it and you're gonna have all these add-ons already for it, which is awesome. So you might be thinking, that this is the best thing to do, just download them. And then later on, once you get into, let's say Apex, you're gonna see this, which is awesome. So we can download it right now. And there we go. Uh, sometimes you guys are gonna see that it says purchased, not a big deal either. Cause that means you already did that before. Maybe you just forgot that you did that. And right now everything seems to be going smoothly with every single thing that we're doing. We're adding all of these and that's almost all done. So let's continue on. And we're gonna move on through every single one of these add-ons. And uh, some of them will take a little bit of space. Others don't take any space whatsoever. It all depends on what add-on you're looking at. And you should tell you how much space one add-on is gonna take versus others. So this one says purchased already. So let's just skip over that one. This one right here, Call of Duty, has not been purchased yet. So here we go. And we got it. So we can move on to this and we're gonna get this. And again, you don't need to get all of them. Just get the ones that make sense to you. A lot of them do not take any space because they're online games, such as Fortnite, for example. That does not take any space. Well, the game itself takes space, but any add-ons do not take space on your PS5. So if you have a ton of skins on your Fortnite account, does that mean those skins are taking up space on your PlayStation or even if you had an Xbox? they're not gonna take up any space because it's an online game. And the same thing goes with a lot of these games now, actually, where they mostly are online and your whole account is online, which is awesome, actually. So we're gonna move on here, it says purchase, purchase. So we've done that before. We can move on to here. This one we have not added. So we're gonna go on and purchase this as well. And it says, thank you, we can continue on. We can go back and we can continue on with every single other one that we don't have in our account yet. Obviously, like I mentioned before, you do not need to get all of these. Just get the ones that make sense to you. But again, they're free and um, they're only available for a certain amount of time. So this one right here, it says download, right? So this one actually takes some space. We're gonna download it. So you just went into the quit. Uh, awesome. So let's go into here. We're gonna get this. Now let's just go back, continue on back again and we can move on to the next one and next one and next one obviously we're gonna go over the ones that we don't have yet some of them we already have 
and that's the next one after this one. You guys should see that it's been purchased before, but if you haven't, maybe you do want it. So that's this one here. It says purchased, so we got that before. This for Fall Guys, we don't have. So we're gonna go on and just confirm that. Now anything that you guys see that it's missing, and most likely if you're watching this video is because you went into just searching for it right directly. Sometimes when you search for something, it just doesn't come up. So the best way is to just go into this section, look at whatever packs you're looking for, whatever add-ons you're looking for, and then just download them from here. Because yes, yeah, sometimes when you look for them in the search bar, they just don't come up, which happens a lot actually. So we're gonna go on and purchase this one as well. There's actually a lot of stuff right now that we're a little bit behind on. I usually go about these every two weeks or so. I wouldn't say keep an eye on them every week. I would say every two weeks is pretty good. However, I think I let it be more than that. Although I usually, like I mentioned before, I usually check every two weeks. I think it's been almost a month for some of these. That's why I missed out on a few. And um, if you guys are watching this video and you don't see a particular add-on, some of them don't stay that long here, okay? They do expire at a certain point. So I can tell you for a lot of Fortnite skins actually that came out here for free, well, they have an expiry date. So if you don't get them by a certain date, then you're not gonna be able to get them later on. There's just gonna be other stuff available or maybe nothing for that particular game available as well. So hopefully you guys are watching this video on time so you guys can get these things for free and you can get them right now or else you just won't see them. Some of these other things do last a long time. So even if you're watching this, let's say two or three months from now, well, they might still be here or something newer, but that's very similar, might still be here as well. So this one says purchase, we can go down here and we're gonna continue on to download this as well. We're gonna confirm our purchase. We're gonna move on, same deal. Just keep going and keep going with everything that makes sense. Uh, this should say purchased. Yep, this one we don't have yet. So we're gonna get this one as well We're gonna continue on we got it Perfect and by the way at the end of this video I'm gonna show you how to claim these because a lot of people have that question You're stuck on how do you actually claim these things because you might be stuck on not seeing anything in your account So at the end of the video, I'll be launching a game so you guys can see exactly what's supposed to happen and that's because that's something i missed in me my other videos sometimes i don't show that and i see a lot of people complaining that they need to know how how this actually works but like i mentioned as long as you're doing this and your game is fully closed you shouldn't technically have any problems now if your game wasn't fully closed it was just there and you guys just ended up going here and doing this then you might hit a glitch at the start but later on you should be okay so this one says installed, so this one was done already. And let's move on to Rocket League. Rocket League adds library, so I don't have this one. Awesome. And these exclusives are actually exactly that, exclusive. So if you have a friend that has an Xbox and is asking you how to get this, there's actually no way for them to get this because it's just for PlayStation. So that's kind of how you guys can show off to some of your friends and uh, others will be sad that you can't get them on Xbox. Anyways, let's just go back. We're going to see this. We're going to move on to Secret Neighbor. This is one of those games that I like. So these are welcome pack. Again, you don't need to be new to for this to actually work, the welcome pack. Now this game always comes up with something with PlayStation Plus, which is awesome. Every single time I do see something here, um, we're just gonna continue on with this, download later. But technically, if you guys want this to work, download it right now. I just want the other stuff to download first and I'll come back to this one. So personally, I'm gonna download it later. But you guys, if you want that to work, make sure to download it right now. So again, we're just gonna add this to our library. So there's a ton of stuff that we have to add to library and we're almost done. Actually, this one says purchased, perfect. Some of them you might see that there's a PS5 version, then there's a PS4 version. Same deal. They are actually the exact same thing. Sometimes you download the PS4 version, but really once you start up the game, you're gonna see it if you know your PlayStation 5 regardless. So right now we're gonna see this as well. We're gonna add this on. It should say zero, confirm purchase. You guys might notice that this was a little bit different. But at the same time, it should be the exact same process as long as you 
have that game turned off, you should be good. Okay, we had that we have, so I didn't have to add that on. So I'm gonna skip over to this one, which we have not purchased. So we're gonna add it to our library as well. We're gonna go back, we're gonna see Warframe and that's his purchased. We haven't done this one though. So we're gonna go on and we are almost done with this video actually, which is good for those of you waiting to see what's gonna happen next which is us claiming some of these rewards so you guys can see exactly what happens. So I'm gonna add this as well. Here we go, it's gonna process. Thank you once again. I'm gonna go back and we're almost there. This one says purchased, that's it. We just did everything. So just to show you an example, so we did this 491, right? So we're gonna make sure that we're gonna go back, all the way back and we're gonna see this right here, Fortnite. Make sure it's closed. So if you see right here, you get all these options. It doesn't say close game. That's because it's already closed. But if you guys see the option to close game, fully close it. Then open it up and then just go throughout the process. If you guys have to log in, log in, and then it should just appear. So we're just gonna wait for the normal login for this. So again, we're just gonna press to start. It's gonna log in and here we go. Out of nowhere, this just came by. So that's what you need. Sometimes you need Fortnite to fully load. So sometimes it's got news and stuff like that. You just have to be sitting in the lobby until everything loads in. Then you should be able to see this. We can equip this well or just claim it and that's it. So that's how you guys do that. If uh, you don't see that right away, just let it sit in lobby. Sometimes the news pops up and you, you get like screens like this. Um, one way to not trick it, but it is good to go to this screen so you guys get to see what's going on. And then once you guys go back, you're gonna notice that all of a sudden, there it is, it's popping up. You guys can just claim your rewards. And that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.